I knew it. There's been sightings. I'm gonna drop my glove. Sightings of Sasquatch. Sasquatch as it were. Sasquatch. See? It does say Sasquatch. So uh, this is one of those trees that I found on one of my adventures. The one that I thought was a... Uh, it wasn't though. It's, it's either, it's probably whatever this is. White oak or something. But you can see we're split down the middle. There was one over there that the bark was really coming off nice. Anyway. So uh, this goes against everything. We were taught as a cat child to not ride your bike in the snow, but um, you know what? These bikes are made for it, so we're going to see how this is going to work. Make sure the camera is on. It looks like it is on. The light is blinking. Good. Good to have the light on. Alright guys, I've had this bike for, this is my third winter, and I've never mustered up the, uh, the mustard to, uh, uh, go on a mountain bike ride downhill. So today's my first attempt. So we're going to see how this works. Oh, it's hard to get started. It's hard to get this started. I don't know what gear I'm in either. Oh, I'm moving now. I'm moving. All right, I'm just gonna stay in this gear. It's a light gear. I'm sinking down a little bit. Oh yeah, sinking down a lot. Woo, mama. Uh, all right, this is not easy. Not easy going, no. Not the easiest. I think I might fall. If I do, that will be that for sure. Oh. Oh. I hit a rut from where I, my foot was walking up. Oh. So it sinks down a little bit. It's killing my groinal area. I'm gonna lower the seat. Oh no. Oh no, there's no. There's no way to lower the seat. What kind of contraption is that? Okay. I have to play the, the drums upon my nutsack. Oh. Okay, guys, this is not the easiest thing to do. You might have an epic wipeout any moment. So. Okay, I'm gonna walk through this area for reasons of obviousness. So it's not as easy as you might think. These bikes, skis are better. Skis are better. If you wanna go slow, <laughs> slow, snowshoes are better. Etc. Etc. Yeah, you just can't can't get going. Oh yes. I'm now gliding quite, quite glidily. Oh. Uh. Uh. I'm actually going downhill and I'm having to pedal for momentum. I'm, uh, I'm actually having to pedal. 
It's a struggle. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay guys, I'm gonna turn off till I get to the steep part. <laughs> Okay guys, we're going to do a little downhill again. This is the steep part, so I was having to pedal up there to uh, keep momentum going. So this part should be good enough. Uh, it's probably about a little over a quarter of a mile and it's all down straight downhill, so we'll see how it works. really have to pedal through this stuff. It's hard to believe. It doesn't go. Oh, it doesn't go. I made a jump down here. I thought it was going to be like cruising through. No problemo, senor. But guess what? Problemo. We bueno problemo. Oh, golly. Yeah, you could break your leg. Look at this. Look at that downward area there. So, yeah. Uh, mountain biking. I walked up this home. It was like over a mile to get up here. And uh, the downhill wasn't worth it at all. Keep the bikes in the summertime. There's a jump, not gonna hit it. So normally that's like a really steep area right there. Yeah, that's it. There's a steeper area over that way and even a steeper area over that way, but this is more open and I knew this would be open or hoped it would be open and uh, anyway so here's just another example of practice you have to practice things and you have to do things in order to see how these things work the reason why I chose this day over other days is because if you can see my I'm, I'm, I'm floating on top. It's not so... Uh, it's not so soft that I'm getting down to where the sticks are. That'll shoot you off. You know, like when you're walking, you hit a stick and you go flying. It's not like that. Everything's underneath the snow. Encrusted in, uh, you know, like six or eight inches of snow. And at the bottom, it's more crusty. But, I mean, I could probably have to take some air out of the tires to float better. But I think uh, I had my fun with it. So, yeah. What I thought was going to be an awesome downhill in winter with my bike Sasquatch. It's a Norco Sasquatch. This is my third winter with it. My first time out going downhill. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't work that great. But at least I didn't fall. Um, it's not that I, didn't, I wasn't trying. It's just that I'm going to sink in. It's not worth it, you know. I'll just walk out and go home. And, uh, yeah, that'll be that. So, so.
So sorry for the short video today, guys. Uh, it was nice to uh, have you come along with me, and you know it was a it was a good it was a good it was a good workout. It was a good workout. I hiked all the way to the top. It took me about an hour to get up there. I was covered in sweat, and but I wear um, polypropylene right here. This layer as a base layer, and. Uh, it wicks the moisture right off, polypropylene. I'm dry. I'm dry as can be. The only thing that's wet is my head. And I noticed that this helmet, this helmet was a $30 helmet, originally like a $60 helmet, whatever. But it's kind of damp on the inside. So I can see where if you were like skiing, like, you know, all day or something or whatever, and you, you start, you get that moisture layer in there. That's not good. So you get, you get a helmet for skiing. You probably want to get one a little bit better than this. I had a better one than this, but um, something hot to it.